Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be showing you on how to train your own state-of-the-art YOLO v5 architecture on a custom dataset. So without wasting any time, let's straight dive into the implementation. So what is basically YOLO v5 and why it is so hyped up? Okay. <clears throat> so it is basically a state-of-the-art uh, object detection algorithm which aims to detect single or multiple objects in videos or images. It consists of many convolutional layers, activation layers, pooling layers, etc., which are complicated to explain at the moment. So I won't be going into detailed explanation of YOLO v5 right now and how does it work, etc. So in this video, I will be mainly focusing on how to train it on a custom dataset of your own. Okay, so I will show you uh, what is YOLO v5 briefly. So if we type YOLO v5 and go to the first link, so this is what we need. So it is by Contralytics Yolo V5. So this is mainly we are going to train on a custom data set. So here it is, a family of object detection and all. Okay, so yeah, that's it. So for that, uh, so firstly, we need labeled or annotated data. So for training Yolo algorithm, we will be needing uh, images and their corresponding annotations. What do I mean by annotation is that we will have the bounding boxes, coordinates of the objects in the image right so for that i will be using a site which is known as open open images data set by provided by google so here i have a text which i'll be saving it in the description of this video so this is the website we will be using to scrape our images um, so v5 i cannot find it Oops, okay, okay. So let's uh, let's choose any class airplane and we get this type of data set. Okay. And we have many images here, but for this tutorial I will be using only uh, two classes which is apple and oranges images. So uh, there is a repository for this to down to make it easy for downloading the data set which is known as OID v4, I think. Sorry, v4 GitHub. So, yeah, I think this is the one. Okay, so we will just clone it. And I will just, I've already cloned it in my uh, hard drive. So, I don't have to do it again. So, you can do this. So, you will get like something like this. Okay. Uh, all these files will be available in the description and all, all you can download using the gitlon file so next step is to is to download the uh, required uh, training data set okay so for that we will be using this command so what does the command does this it downloads classes of apple and orange in a, in a single folder right and we we have limited with 5000 images you can play with it so I'll just copy and paste it in my terminal. So I won't run this because I've already downloaded all the images. Okay. So I'll show you what it looks like after downloading uh, the train on the uh, train site. So it will be present in the OID folder in dataset and in train. I've already uh, downloaded the validation dataset also. Just edit here and type validation instead of train. Okay. So if we go inside this we will initially we will get all these images just ignore this text one for initials okay and we will we will be having this label folder the images corresponds to the image and the labels corresponds to the annotation of each image so uh, okay so uh, so if we go inside any of the image so i've already converted this right uh, i've already converted these files to yeah so this is this is what we have initially right in the labels data set after downloading so uh, but for yolo we will be needing a different format i'll show you and these are the converted files for yolo so yeah this and this so as you can see there's a difference between the classes apple is zeroth class okay and oranges is one class so for yolo we need to normalize the coordinates so in this case we have 162 and and using some normalization techniques we have converted it to the range from 0 to 1 so that is needed for uh, YOLO. So the, uh, the files which do, does this uh, job is our 
uh, this fine conversion convert underscore annotations dot py so i will uh, put this in the description of this video so please do use it to convert your data set into ULO format okay so next class is to edit next step is to edit the uh, classes dot txt file this one okay so just make sure you have only those classes which you have downloaded right apple and then orange in the same sequence so after that after we have converted the files we will i will be using google collab so upload all this all this uh, folder the data set oid folder to your google drive okay so i have already uploaded my data set to google drive so here you can see i have all these folders train consists of the images and its corresponding labels okay so yeah that's it so yeah after after uh, uploading it this is the google collab notebook which i'll, which I'll be using to train my yolo v5 object detection algorithm so first we need to mount our uh, collab sorry our google drive on the collab notebook so for that this two lines can help so i've already mounted my drive oops i think it's gone so i'll do it again so just select your account in which you have uploaded your data just copy this security code and paste it here and press enter and make sure you are using the gpu accelerator in the notebook okay so next is to check your gpu version like which gpu you have got so in this case i've got a tesla t4 which is quite good for this implementation next is to clone the yolo v5 repository from this link just just be clone it okay cool and pip install all the requirements for this library using this command so it will take a minute to download all this okay this is some um, errors you need to ignore it will not cause any problems i've already tested it okay cool so now we should restart for so the changes to take place so we started we start the collab notebook yeah it's okay now we need to go inside the directory of yolo v5 and just hit the training so this is what training looks like i have already uh, trained it on only 10 epochs just make sure i have trained on 10 epochs you should at least train it on uh, for 50 epochs minimum 50 epochs okay but for this tutorial i have trained just for 10 epochs so this was the whole log output i got while training okay and yes one more thing just make sure you uh, you include uh, my classes dot yaml file sorry this one in your yolo v5 data folder right this file i will link in the description to download this file just edit it as per your needs okay it consists of the uh, train examples and validation examples the part to retrain examples and validation examples okay it is it is really useful it is really useful so I'm gonna upload it to my Yolo V5, then data. Yeah, then upload. Then select this file and upload it in this directory. Okay, so now you can run now run this command. Okay, so it will train it and it will take some time to train out obviously. It's a big huge neural network. So after training, we have got the we will uh, we will be testing our detector using this command so the best results would be in our will reside inside let's say uh, to, yeah actually i have saved the weights during my initial run so i've saved it earlier so i will just upload it in the model story okay i don't have any hands right now so 
I will just upload it here. Let's download. Okay, I don't have best. Okay. So that's a 14 MB file only. Okay, so it's almost done. So when I trained my model earlier, it saved the weights in this directory. Okay. So as the notebook got crashed, so I had to download the weights and save it in my local directory. And now I just uploaded it inside this directory. Okay. So the path is this one. I will just copy path and just replace this. Okay. So I'll just run this. So it is calculating and computing some, you know, output from bounding boxes. And here we have the, okay, so the results are <coughs> saved into this directory, okay? Okay. Um, one second, detect. Okay, so we have this result right here. Okay, so it only predicted one because obviously it is it was expected as we trained it on only 10 epochs. We need to train it on more epochs, at least 50. Let's see the second image. And it did a pretty good job, you know. It detected, you know, half of it. I will not say half, but yeah, it did, it did a pretty good job within 10 epochs. Third, okay, it detected orange and then detected even for apple, but yeah, it is good. You can train it further and you can experiment it further on more ebooks so yeah this was all for this tutorial and i hope you liked it please do subscribe and like to my channel in this video and yeah that's it i'll link everything in the description goodbye